All right, in this video, we're just going to show you how to do a brick takeoff. Uh, we're, we're here on the templates tab, so let's just look and see what we have in the uh, brick folder. Uh, the top item here is a linear takeoff, uh, just named brick. That is going to be used for any brick takeoff at all, whether it be uh, face brick on a building, uh, some brick around some columns or pedestals, uh, fireplace, um, any brick takeoff at all. Um, the rest of the items here, you'll see we have accent panel, row lock band, uh, a couple of different openings in the brick, uh, circular opening in the brick, uh, brick wall cap, uh, some miscellaneous lintels um, that we cannot pick up otherwise, and uh, uh, this bottom lintel here would be for a full length lintel at the bottom of the brick. Um, uh, for instance, if there's a spot that we do not have a, uh, a brick ledge or a wall to set on, and we have to mount a lintel at the bottom. That's what this would be for. We'd have to drag that in there. All these other items here would need to be a sub-item of the linear brick takeoff. They need to be put in here somewhere. It does not matter where you put them in there, whether it be top, bottom, middle. Um, they, they will work the same no matter where they're at. But they do need to be a child item of the brick takeoff itself. So let's just go ahead and jump here um, into our plan. Um, all, all the brick will be taken off uh, on a floor plan. The reason for that is um, if we were trying to do it off the elevation uh, pages, we would not be able to take off areas like this here and this here because we would not know how deep they, they are. That's why we use the floor plan. So let's look at our elevations here. Um, we are starting actually right here on this. I've, I've already went through and, and checked the elevations with the wall cuts. I've got them drawn on here. Um, mainly have four different heights on this on this building here. Uh, pretty simple takeoff. Um, you can see here we're 27 foot half inch. Um, I'm just going to round that up to, to 27 one obviously. So let's go back to our floor plan here, and let's just uh, start a, uh, a brick takeoff. We were 27.1, and I'm just going to name this brick veneer. Uh, the takeoff units, uh, pricing reports, you have all that filled out already. After going over the first video, you have all those things preset. So we're good to go there. We're ready to do a takeoff. Um, And if we look here, the elevation pages here actually have the dimensions of the brick for us, which is real nice, makes it real easy. Um, so what I did was I just took off 12 feet there. If we refresh that, it, uh, it will show us that. Uh, you can see the 12 feet there. Um, if we go back to here, you'll see that we have 12 feet. Um, and, and what we have here also we go back to the elevation page we have uh, three openings here um, three patio doors so let's take a look at uh, our window and door schedule um, looks like we're gonna have eight foot by six foot eight doors on that so we will just take an opening in the brick here just drag it over drop it in And we were eight, maybe six, eight tall. It's going to be it's a door opening. Um, we are not going to have a sill at a door opening, obviously, but we are going to have a brick header, uh, row lock band, wall tables, wall caps. We don't have any of that here. Um, so we're ready to, uh, to digitize these. Just put one there, one there, um, and you'll see here we have two of those openings. Uh, the reason I only did two and not three here is because our top one is not going to have a header on it. So I'm just going to take that and duplicate that, and we're going to do a door opening, no header. Go to header, we'll just take that out. So, so we 
we got that piece of brick done. Um, now it looks like we're dropping down to there, which is 22 foot. And we're going to go over 3 foot 4. But we're going to turn that corner and go in. So we're there. So to do another height, I'm just going to duplicate. Oops. I'm just going to duplicate that. And we'll just leave that 22 foot. And we'll just change the color on it here. And we're going 3 foot 4 to the outside of the brick. So we're actually going to go 3 foot 2. And then we have a 4 foot offset. So we're going to go 4 foot 2 to get to the inside there. I'll refresh that. That'll show us the brick on there already. You can see we have no openings in that area there. Um, now we're down to uh, 6 foot 8. And we're going to be 12 foot 8 wide it looks like. So again, we're just going to duplicate this. And we'll just select 6 foot 8 here. Just change the color again to break it up for us. And we were 12 foot 8 end to end. So there is that area there. We have a couple of W1 windows there. So let's see what those are. Let's get that out of the way. W1 are 3 foot 2 by 4 foot 9. I'm not going to have a header. foot nine there's going to be window opening we are going to have a row lock sill no header get rid of that for now and we got those two done So that, that's it. It's going to be the same all the way through here. Um, so we're not going to go much further. Um, but that, that's all there is to it. Um, you know, and that's just, you know, the, the brick and the openings are going to be the main things that you're going to have. Um, the, the circular openings are going to work the same as the openings we just did. Uh, row lock bands. Um, we can show you what that would be here. Um, let, let's take, uh, for instance... Let's just say there's a, a row lock band here at this sill all the way across this piece here, for instance. We would just take the row lock band, we would drop it in there. And we would say there's one row lock band, we want to see it in linear feet. And 12.67, there's 12 foot 8, so we're, we're right on there. And we, and we didn't even have to digitize it, it just inherits the linear. Um, if we do digitize it, um, it will only show the quantity of the digitized area. Um, now this is where we would, we would come into play here. On our windows, we have a tab for row lock bands. Uh, row lock band segments through each opening. Here we, uh, we, we could do it either way if it lined up with the sill on the window. Um, we, we could either not put anything in there and not do a sill on the window, or we could uh, take them off and also put a sill on the window and just add them back in. It, it would work both ways, uh, e equally the same. We'll get rid of that since there's not one there. Uh, accent panel. Uh, the only time I use the accent panel is if I have uh, a different brick from the main brick or if I'm charging a different labor amount uh, to do those brick. Um, if it runs from a simple uh, running bond um, to a stack bond, I, I generally don't don't even use the accent panel because it's same brick, same labor, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the brick wall cap would be uh, for retaining walls or planter walls, things like that. 
Again, it'll work just like the uh, the Rolock band. It will inherit the linear if you do not digitize anything. Um, and the uh, the couple lintels here we, we covered earlier. Um, in this case, we don't have them. Um, they're they're, they're going to be pretty seldom that you're going to have to use those. Um, I, I hardly ever use them myself. Uh, you can always find a better way to, to pick up the items um, than, than just digitizing them all out. So... Uh, but that's it. You know, if we, if we go to our estimating tab, we can see what we have here already. I've actually done a, a good portion of this takeoff. That's what I got in the folder there. Um, but yeah, you, you can you can see that uh, all the all the items in there, quantities. Um, see the openings that we have. Uh, those two we didn't have any openings on there. We got them there. Um, so that, that's it. That's how we do a, a brick takeoff. Um, we'll get into uh, we'll get more into using the uh, the folders here, the job folder, location, and zone folders. Uh, probably just make a separate video for that real quick. Um, but uh, that, that is uh, how we do the brick takeoff, and, and the, it shows us how to use the items in the brick folder here. So uh, stay tuned for our next video.